all you are free. If you are in the plane, and you remember the one who is in our midst, who died for us, and you remember his passion and death these three days and three nights, as he has spoken, then you are free. 72 hours death. The grace that comes to all men, including the angels, is not based on our goodness but our Lord Jesus Christ is instrumental. This will teach us, none of the words, which proceed from the mouth of God shall pass away, until all are fulfilled. Mark chapter 13 verse 31. It also teaches us to believe in him and to have faith in his words. Do not joke with any of the words spoken by God. The world is passing away but the word of God will not pass away. As he has said, that, as Jonah was in the belly of the whale for three days and three nights, so shall the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. This is exactly so. He was in the heart of the earth for seventy-two hours. Whether you are able to observe this or not, just believe in him. Do not argue with him, because the ability to do anything does not come from any person but from him. The result of making him a liar is the punishment besetting the whole world. There is no parable in it. Be it, as it may. From 6 a.m. on Thursday, to 6 p.m. on Thursday, counts as the first day. From 6 a.m. on Friday, to 6 p.m. on Friday, counts as the second day. From 6 a.m. on Saturday, to 6 p.m. on Saturday, is the third day. From 6 p.m. on Thursday, to 6 a.m. on Friday, is the first night. From 6 p.m. on Friday, to 6 a.m. on Saturday, is the second night. And from 6 p.m. on Saturday, to 6 a.m. on Sunday, is the third night. And so altogether there are three days and three nights. Matthew chapter 12 verse 40. What is it, you doubt and cannot accept? All have sinned and fallen from the grace of God. A little leaven, leavens the whole lump. People say, it does not matter. But it does. If you argue, he died for only Friday and Saturday, it means, the Bible record is false, and should be thrown away. That is, why you are met with destruction. It is the same, as someone would say, he has no sin. If you claim you have no sin, 1 John chapter 1 verse 8, you have made Christ a liar, and his blood has no power over you, and his word has no root in you. Whoever says, he does not commit sin, and that he is a righteous man does not fear the word of God, and the blood of Jesus Christ has no power over him. The word of God has no root in him. He has crucified Christ the second time. There were two thieves, one on either side of our Lord Jesus Christ. Argue then, there was any righteous man from Adam until his advent. But you argue, you have no sin. From Adam until eternity the world is full of thieves. He alone is the righteous one. He has redeemed us with his blood. What do you lose to admit that you are a sinner? Our Lord Jesus Christ takes away your sins, and makes you clean the moment you admit that you are a sinner, and that he died, for you. Mention any righteous man on earth. We are all thieves, as evidenced by the two thieves on either of his sides. We are saved by grace for his sake. He is the only mediator. If you involve him in anything it will work well, but when you exclude him, there is no success. He alone has come to mediate for the whole world, because he is the only righteous one. He intercedes for all the creations of God. Let our golden text be read. Golden text, Matthew chapter 16 verse 21. From that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples, how that they must go unto Jerusalem, and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes, and be killed, and be raised again the third day. Many brotherhood suffer, because they refuse to fast on Thursday. Many people in the world, the church denominations, and the Muslims suffer, because they do not commemorate the significant day. After today is Holy Thursday, a healing day. It is a day of power. There is nothing that God cannot do, for you on this day, be it sickness, problem, tribulation, or court case, if you recognize him. Many people, including mystics, and members of secret societies know the importance of Holy Thursday. That is, why they are angry, what they have spent millions of pounds or dollars to acquire, is given to people free of charge, and that I have disgraced them. If you are sick, whatever you want is taken care of by his blood. The various texts read at 6 a.m., at 9 a.m., at 12 noon, at 3 p.m. and at 6 p.m. on Thursday are life-giving. No matter where you are, if you observe this day you will become a different person. We do not do this, so that we may be healed. We do not observe it in order that we may have money or power. 
but it is in remembrance of one who died for us. It is to show a thankful heart to him, and to share his death, sufferings and afflictions. All those who do not observe that day do not believe in him. Neither do they believe that he came into the world, and suffered and died for their own salvation. The words of the Bible are sacrosanct. He said, he would go to Jerusalem, and there he would be arrested, tortured and killed, but God will raise him up on the third day. Matthew chapter 16 verse 21. Why are your ears itching to hear strange words? Why is it, even you in brotherhood continue to drink that old wine, and celebrate his death on Friday? Bring your Bible, and I will bring mine. Let us compare ourselves. There is no Bible that will say something different from the three days. The first lesson says destroy this temple, and I will build it in three days. John chapter 2 verse 19. The second lesson says, as Jonah was in the belly of the whale for three days and three nights, so shall the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. Matthew chapter 12 verse 40. The golden text says, they will kill him, but God would raise him on the third day. Matthew chapter 16 verse 21. Have you no ears to hear? These things happen to fulfill what has been written, that the time will come, when people will leave the truth, and gather teachers to themselves according to their lusts. In 2 Timothy chapter 4 verses 1 to 4, Christ said through the mouth of Paul, I charge thee therefore before God, and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine, for the time will come, when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. How are we going to be saved? It is very surprising in the broad daylight, after Christ has confirmed, he will be in the grave for three days and three nights, you come up now and say, he was in the grave for two days and two nights. How can you prove your method, and how can you be saved? It is the same thing, as the people are saying, Brotherhood is ghost, Dracula, and drinks blood. They say, the father changes into bat, lizard, cat, and disappears here, and appears there. And so brethren, we should not use our wisdom in doing anything. We should keep to the wisdom of God, as is documented in the Book of Life. He said, I speak these things, when they do not yet happen, so, when they will take place you may know, he is the one. John chapter 13 verse 19. Right now he has not yet been arrested or killed. But watch carefully all the ceremonies that we will keep from this night to the first day of the week, when he rose. We shall have full service tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday. We have full service every day, because it is a matter of services. One stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Those who have ears to hear, let them hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. Thank you Father, 